All right, let's go ahead and talk about the new Frost unit, Ling Hong, which is great for low spender slash Frida plays due to all the buffs that she brings for the Frost team. She can be either a hyper carry or support, and she fits in on almost any Frost team. But do note that she was tested on the test server, so there's a chance that this could change. So this is what you need to know before you roll, starting with her main mechanics. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at her normal attacks. Now, she is similar to Mimi to where none of these really matter besides her hold attack, but she is able to reduce Crystalline Crack, which does off-field damage every time she does a normal attack, which includes her hold attack. And like Fize, she's able to fly. You simply need to hold down the forward button and jump three times. And you can keep doing this in the air as long as you have this icon. Otherwise, you will simply just float down. And similar to Fize, it's not that powerful unless you get it to five star since you only get two charges. And here you can see how it compares to rebellious dodges. So now let's go ahead and talk about her skill, which causes a lot of off-field damage, which is the main way how she supports. This, combined with her hold attack, allows her to do a lot of damage. And lastly, we have her discharge, which is a very long animation, so normally we would jump cancel it, but since it gives an 8% final damage buff, you do want to cast this. Which brings us into a few of her flaws. First being her skill. When you cast it, you're trapped in an animation to where you go into a circle and you need to make sure you complete it so that way the skill goes off. On top of that, it takes a while for the skill to actually hit the target. Normally, you would cast her skill and then switch to the next character to cast their discharge. But due to how she functions is that you want to hold down the forward key and do two normal attacks so that way you can quickly discharge to the next character. And if you're main DPSing with her, you want to do the same thing except you do two normal attacks into a hold attack. Next, we have her discharge. I already mentioned that it is a very long skill animation, but you're able to cancel it early and still get the final damage buff. You can do this immediately when Snow starts to appear before her in the skill animation preview. Generally, you want to spam your skill or normal attacks if the skill is on cooldown, so it activates as soon as possible. And to make this easier, I recommend that you have these settings active, that way you can see the skill preview. Another thing to note is that her charge is actually pretty bad, so if you're not running Triple Frost, you may have difficulty discharging to your other characters. And even though that she has a double shatter, it's actually not that good. You can see the comparison between these characters, and all of these are 6 stars with their max matrices, as well as their trait. And her last flaw is that she doesn't have any survivability built into her kit, so if you don't have a healer on the team, you might find it difficult to survive. So now let's quickly talk about her playstyle. If you're main DPSing, you're quickly buffing with her supports and then activating her discharge as well as her skill into two normal attacks so that way you can quickly get into her hold attack. And if you're supporting, you're activating her discharge into her skill and then doing two normal attacks to quickly switch to the next character. So now let's go ahead and talk about her ascensions. But she is really powerful even at A0. So one star allows you to increase your frost attack as well as increase your AoE damage every 30 seconds. This is her strongest ascension. 3 star basically allows you to have stronger ticking damage, which is even stronger if there's only one target. This is your third strongest ascension. 5 star increases the damage of your crystalline crack and cold air, which is a good DPS increase, but it's not as strong as the other ascensions. But you get the added benefit of being able to fly with Ling Hong forever. And 6 star allows you to do more area effect damage, and it is a big DPS increase, only getting beaten out by A1. And like all domain 9 characters, she has a special skill to where essentially, once she activates her skill, she just does more damage. This damage is increased by 1.3 times if you have a Volt, Flame, or Physical weapon on the team. But her trait is very strong and you want to use it in almost every Frost team, especially if you have three Frost weapons because you're able to gain additional weapon charge as well as do a lot of damage every time you activate a skill or discharge. But sadly, Alice's clone does not activate this effect, so she does not pair well with Ling Hong. So let's go ahead and discuss her teams, and as I mentioned earlier, she can either be a main DPS or support. So she best synergizes with Yulan, and for her other support, her number one pick is Fiona. But if you happen to have an A6 Yulan, you can use her as the main DPS. But you could consider replacing either Fiona or Yulan for Zeke, but these teams are slightly weaker. But as mentioned, her trait is very powerful, allowing you to do triple frost teams, with her strongest team consisting of herself, Yulan, and Icarus. But even if you don't have those limited characters, she still pairs well with standard characters like Frigg and Saki. And lastly, let's talk about her matrices. Her two-piece increases the elemental damage and allows her frost blades to do extra damage, which is not the greatest two-piece. 
but she makes up for it with her four piece to where you can increase your final damage equaling Fiona's and on top of that you can increase your attack by quite a bit as well and with that that should be everything that you need to know before you roll but look forward to my DPS calculation video to where I go into detail about the teams the matrices and the rotations so let me know down in the comments are you guys rolling for Ling Hong or are you waiting for those future characters but other than that I'll talk with you guys later